now we're getting 1.19 giga hash at about 78 watts. That is extremely efficient. Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I'm gonna be testing out this SQRL Forest Kitten 33. This is a FPGA and this is something that I have used before for mining Ethereum. But now, apparently, with Team Red Miner, you can use this for mining Caspa. And so I wanna test it out. We're gonna see how much mega hash or giga hash that we're gonna achieve on this FK33. And uh, we're just gonna see how much power it takes uh, at the power supply and then also at the PCIe using an Elmore Labs PMD, power measuring device, so that we can see how much power exactly we are using at the six pin for this FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Array. So this is something that a few of you guys have been asking me to do and I'm like, all right, I have one of these, I might as well make a video on it as I think Caspa is generally profitable on GPUs at the moment, but there are some rumblings of a lot of FPGAs potentially coming online sooner or later, if not already, and uh, that may hinder the profitability depending on your electrical costs, of course. But anyways, besides the point, this video, I just wanna test this out. We're gonna see how this fares on Caspa, guys. So let me tell you my testing methodology here. I'm using just a open air test bench. I have a Zotac E150 mining specific motherboard. It has eight PCIe slots, but we're obviously we're not actually using any of these X1 slots or even the X16 because this Force Kitten 33 utilizes a USB cable for its communication to the motherboard through USB, okay? So this end here is the USB and then this end is a micro B end that goes into the back of the FPGA right there, if you guys can see that. Okay, so right now I have just a typical riser, gprisers.com riser on as a placeholder just so I can put it up here on my test bench. And so I'm not using the USB or PCIe in this riser because this FPGA is only powered by this six pin right here. But apparently it can be powered by the PCIe. I haven't confirmed that, but I've always powered it just by the six pin itself and then the USB micro B cable going into uh, the motherboard, okay? Some people may ask Red Panda, is this thing for sale or anywhere? And no, the company SQRL is bankrupt. I believe they filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy. And so yeah, they're obviously no longer in business. And I don't really know how many of these are out in the wild, but I have seen some people sell them on eBay. Anyways, my power situation for the FK33 is gonna be going through a Elmore Labs PMD. So a single six pin is gonna go into the six pin PCIe there. And then how the power goes through from the power supply is another uh, eight pin PCIe uh, going into the Elmore Labs from a 750 watt power supply here. I am using a parallel miner ZSX board with a yeah, HP server PSU 750 watt, which is then plugged into a 120 volt circuit as you guys can see here, we're about at 117 volt. So we're gonna see, this is idle right now in Hive OS, and actually I'm gonna have to install Ubuntu on this machine because apparently I, I'm unable to get this FK33 to work in Hive OS. Uh, so we're gonna install Ubuntu on this machine and I've done this before in a previous video. If you guys are gonna go watch that, I have all the steps down below in case anyone has one of these FPGAs and it may work with other models potentially. But uh, yeah, I have been able to install Ubuntu myself and then download Team Red Miner. You guys can watch that video if you wanna know step by step. Anyways guys, I need to install Ubuntu, get it all set up and then and right after this, I will show you guys my results of uh, how much power we are using on this FK33 mining Caspa. I'm very curious to know. All right, so be right back.
Okay, we're mining CASPA at 54 watts at the Umware Labs PMD. And then at the wall for the whole system, including the motherboard and whatnot, it's 87.88 watts or so. I'm guessing that includes maybe some inefficiency from the server PSU running on 120 volt. But here we are, okay? So the hash rate that we are getting, and uh, you know what, I'll make it bigger here. You guys may not see this. But in Team Red Miner, it shows 41 watts. And then the hash rate is almost 800 mega hash, or 796 mega hash. So 796 mega hash, 41 watts in the software. But at the Elmer Labs PMD, it says 54, 53 watts here. So that means that this is more efficient than a 3070 or any GPU. This Forest Kitten 33 is incredibly efficient. I think everyone knows that FPGAs are going to give more hash rate and less power consumption uh, when it comes to CASPA, of course. I guess maybe other algorithms out there as well. So let me explain here, in Team Red Miner, they have a great guide, like a great readme on how to uh, just configure the FK33 or any of the other FPGAs. They actually explain it in their readme. You guys should go read that. But I'll show on the screen here what parameters I used. I didn't play around much because I didn't want to like burn up the uh, FPGA that I have here, you know, voltages and stuff. Team Red Miner did have some disclaimers in there reading about, you know, playing around with voltages and stuff. So I didn't really want to play around with that yet. And apparently, according to Team Redminer, there are some modded Forest Kitten 33s. So the one I have here is not modded. This is just a stock uh, Forest Kitten 33 FPGA. So apparently, these can go up to 2.5 giga hash on CASPA at about, I think, 100 or 120 watts or something. So, if I could potentially get this modded, which I'm not sure if I want to do or not, you guys can let me know if I should give it a try. But if I have to send this out to somebody to get it modded, maybe I'll do that. So, this is pretty interesting. Extremely efficient. Almost 800 mega hash at about 50, uh, 40, 51, it looks like it fluctuates quite a bit, but around 55 watts, I would say, for this Forest Kitten 33 mining CASPA, which is definitely really, really efficient. Again, I am not some FPGA uh, savant, like I don't know much about FPGAs, I've never played around with like, you know, the BCU 1525s or something, or CVP 1100. Apparently those are also pretty good for mining CASPA for anyone that has uh, an FPGA or any of those models, right? But at least this goes to show, right? This FPGA here, this FK33, uh, which I think is definitely one of the lower, uh, like hash rate models of FPGAs compared to like that, what, E300 or something from Osprey Electronics, which apparently does like 15 giga hash or something at like 200 or 300 watts, which is just insane, right? If this does 800 mega hash at you know, 56, 55 watts here, then obviously that E300 is much more efficient than this uh, Forest Kitten 33. Unless I was able to get this modded to mine Caspa, of course. That might be something uh, down the road. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. You let me know what you think here. This was fun to set up my little test bench again and start tinkering around with hardware and stuff. Stay tuned. I have uh, more videos I want to make on the Intel Arc, my A380 here. Apparently, this can mine some other coins, but I'm not quite sure if it's good or not. So stay tuned for that, and maybe I might test my very, very efficient RTX 3070 on mining Casper. You guys know my Noctua 3070 here. This thing is one of the most efficient 3070s I have ever played with in my life, especially when we were mining Ethereum at like, what, 62, 63 mega hash at like 104 watts or something back then. Yeah, just, just crazy stuff. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts about this. And uh, for anyone that has a FK33, if you guys have any better settings, you know, batch file parameter settings that I could use for stock FK33s, let me know if I can get any better than uh, 796 or 800 mega hash here. Okay, I decided to try without the 200 core, and now we're getting 1.19 giga hash at about 78 watts at the PMD. That is extremely efficient. Yeah, that's. I think that's the same efficiency though as what we were getting before. Uh, 800 mega hash at like 55 watts. I'll do the calculations on the screen here, but that's I think about 14.5 mega hash per watt. That's 
extremely efficient compared to a GPU. And the software wattage shows 62 watts. All right, and the software, I think before was like, what, 41 or something? So yeah, little bit of a disparity there from Team Red Miner software to the PMD here. All right guys, that's it for this video. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, that was a fun little test there, but obviously not as uh, I would say from what I've heard is that I could obviously mod this thing. So uh, if I can mod this in the future, that will be fun. I will let you guys know if we can achieve that 2.5 giga hash under 70 watts. That would be utterly insane. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out.